to South Africa. You're the new intern. My name is Enrique, and I'm the head of the personnel department here. It's great that someone has traveled so far to learn more about how to keep African wildlife. I sometimes get the feeling that all young guys think of nothing but soccer. We're only in the building phase, but my boss has some ambitious plans. Since his last visit to the U.S., he's been raving about the fabulous wildlife parks they have there. Come a little closer, and I'll tell you something. Tip, use the mouse wheel to zoom closer in. So between you and me, my boss is a real entrepreneur and seems to have gotten mixed up with some dubious investors. If you want my opinion, the only thing these guys care about is money. They don't give a damn about the animals. But on the other hand, we desperately need those investors here, because in the past, the state has been pumping money into conserving the rich diversity of animal species. But now it looks like those funds are needed to maintain all the new soccer stadiums they've been building. <laughs> But hey, enough of that! I want to show you something. Follow me! Tip, use the mouse wheel to zoom out and move the mouse to the edge of the screen to follow Enrique. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to do this. We're planning a big adventure park here, where visitors from all over the world can see the most magnificent African animals right up close. It will be a unique experience for the whole family. We haven't introduced any big cats here yet, as they're more difficult to keep than grazing animals. Come on, I'll show you around. Tip, use the arrow keys or move the mouse to the edge of the screen. Take a look into this enclosure. You're a city dweller, eh? So maybe these stripes look a little familiar, huh? <laughs> only kidding. This is Bianca, our baby zebra. Bianca was only born a few weeks ago, but sadly her mother did not survive the birth. It is important you learn how to handle vulnerable animals, so that's why first we're going to attend to Bianca. Let's see how Bianca is getting on. Every time you select an animal, a list of the current well-being status and needs of that animal will appear on the bottom right of the screen. Like all hoofed animals, zebras are herd animals so we want to integrate Bianca into our herd of zebras. Maybe we'll find a surrogate mother willing to suckle her. So please put Bianca in the zebra enclosure close by, next to the water trough if you can. Tip, select an animal and then click OK to move it to another spot. Well done! Take some time to have a look around our park. We have another enclosure with gazelles. Oh yeah, if you're through with the task or don't know what to do next, use the flashing button at the top here to find out more about the tasks you have open. Good! Here you can see an overview of all your outstanding tasks and your progress in each one. But right now, Sarah, the park's landscape architect, is waiting for you by the gazelle enclosure. Go and find her. Hello, I'm Sarah, and I'm supervising the development of the wildlife park. I'd love you to help me learn how to design enclosures to suit the needs of different species. Designing an enclosure is one of the most creative but demanding tasks in a wildlife park. 
It's really fun to actually build your own design concepts. But we must, of course, bear in mind the specific habits and requirements of the animals that will inhabit the enclosure. First, I'd like to use the gazelle enclosure to show you the best way of building an animal enclosure. The most important equipment in an animal enclosure is the feeding device. And there are different types of facilities for different food, sometimes also in different sizes and at different heights. Select an animal to find out which food is required by a particular species. You can use the details button, which will